I can't believe that just happened. That was absolutely awesome. Tizoxic, MVP of that one. Nexus putting its team in the right spot the entire game. And status quo, despite going all positive, they did not capitalize on the hill time. They are going to be still up 2-1, to one, but we now have to go to a game four. I can't be more surprised about that one there, Chris. I mean, I thought status quo had that one in the bag since the beginning. But who would guess Tzoxic would grab the sniper at the last zone and just start It was the overshield. Everyone. It was the overshield. All right, there we go. We see the score now. Status quo two, ambush with one. Will they have enough ambush to come back and tie it up here on oddball lockdown? Oh, we're going right into this. No commercial breaks, nothing. I cannot wait. This is game four. Will ambush take it to game five? And we are going to be starting this one off with Nexus. Now, Scott, it's oddball. First person to 250, or first team to 250 seconds wins the game. Key opening strategy here. There's two sides of the map. A lot like midship, you got your carbine tower and you got your top pink or your side tower. What's up? You send three, you send three carbine and you keep a guy in the base. Stay away from tower as much as you can until you get complete control. Tower is just a death trap. Everyone wants to go there because in theory, it's the best spot because it has the highest elevation. Gotta stay away from it after the beginning. All right, now, if you're playing this map, which one are you? Are you the guy in the base or are you pushing carbine? That's, that's a tough one. I think I'm the guy. No, nope, no, nope, I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely the guy who's charging. Yeah, I'm great. So you're <laughs> definitely the charger, without a doubt. Yeah, I, I don't have patience. I'm going pink street. All right, looking up at the main stage, it looks like the players are done talking. And we're still getting their stuff together. Status quo just put on their headphones. They had a little team huddle after that game. We're getting ready, talking to the ref. This game is about to begin. Ambush needs this game to stay alive. They are down 2-1 in the series. Remember, it's the first team to three wins. We'll advance to winner's bracket round two. Here we go. Just like you said, Bucket, this is a crucial game for both teams. Ambush has an option to tie it up here and go to that crucial game five, where status quo can close it out right here. And to be honest, I wouldn't really want to be the winner of this game because I have to face off against Triggers down next one. <laughs> next match, anyway. It's like both teams heard exactly what I said and did exactly what I said to do off the beginning of this match. Or they just know the basic strategy for lockdown ball. Or you know that too, but <laughs> I, I, I like to dream big, you know? Sorry. We are going out live to the audience. They probably could hear us. All right, so here we go. We got this Oxic on top of the tower. His team doesn't have control. He's ignoring Scott's advice. And Clutch is moving the ball bottom A side, and he's staying alive with the odd ball, and that is so important because now he's going to be able to pick up at least another five seconds, and it's going to be attended to the rest of this team unable to protect him. We're going to Flamesword, though. I kind of want to watch status quo, and we're going to listen in with these guys. It's going to be a long 15-minute game. Let's see how they play it. they got to keep their intensity up. they got to step up their intensity. The slang is on for status quo, but the clutchness with the objective was not there last week. One shot, 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 one Top one shot, top eight. Tots. I don't know where Clutch killed me. Tots is one shot, top eight. Tots is one shot. Nice, two dead, two dead. Top eight. Check her one. Check her one. He's in there. He's in the car. Nice. Kill him and grab him. Top eight. Top eight weak. Top eight weak. Top eight weak. Clutch. Car one. Car one. Go in car three. Go in car three. Ace. Front eight. Front eight. Clutch. Look car three. Check that. Clutch. Check car two. Check car two. Clutch. And one check car two. Ace. Car eight. Car eight. Car eight. Car eight. What's up? Car B, 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 Car B,
with Nexus there, Chris. I've always been one to doubt Nexus and say, I've always not doubted him, but I never thought he was as well as he's playing right now. You, you listen to the forums. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes I, that I did, I listened to the forums. Yeah, you, you can't do that here in our league. We gotta, we gotta make decisions. No, but Nexus, really an underrated player in my eyes. A lot of people kind of talk trash about him. His placing's not always the greatest. He's never shined as a superstar on the team. Last year on Ambush, he was kind of the support for Heinz and Pistola. This year, he's playing with a whole new group of guys. He's kind of coming into his own. And I like how consistent he is. He's a lot smarter than people give him credit for. And he's definitely one of the best teammates you can have on your squad. I want to just fucking get out of the house. I'm gonna move my A. Go to the A one shot. And everyone on ambush is down. We're going back over to status quo. Let's listen in. Sadarsis, one shot top A. Under the base of the car. Under the base of the car. West, push out of the window. I am. Hey, Corbo, hey, Corbo, let's go. Two of them, two of them, Corbo. Two top A. Watch the window. Big West one. Big one, Sadarsis. One shot. Car two, car two in. Pink side B. One shot. One shot, car two. Nexus. Nexus, one shot. He's on the ball. He's A1. Front of B, one shot. Ball's still weak, ball's still weak, Aaron. Then they hurt him. Last one, Aaron. Last one, last one. 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 Last one, Pick one, pick one spot. Pick one spot. Pink bubble, you're pink bubble. Top A, top A, and up the stairs. Car two. Car two. Hey, fight this guy with me. Fight this guy with me. Top A, two of them. Top A. Nice. Top A, car side. Watch out, Matthew. Watch out. Three that, three that, three that. Top A, top A, top A. Watch your car. Scott, you gotta love the communication here from Status Quo. Yeah, that was that was extremely impressive. I was more impressed with how Flamesword was able to drop the ball, no shields, turn around, throw a perfect nade in the corner pocket to weaken. I think it was Nexus for Tots to get an easy kill off. The blue guy. Yeah, exactly. And Tots, you know, now holding the odd ball, they're right back into the game, up and counting with their lead. And you know, no team has had a perfect setup this round. That's why it's or this match. That's why it's such a close game. They're really having to scrap right now. Tots was just scrap, scrapping ball time in the base. With, uh, with Ace actually on Carbine side, two alive, and they were getting time. I don't know how it's working out, but an Ambush unable to break the SQ stat, uh, I guess their setup, but now they finally did to Zoxic, and Macchio made a push there on pink side. Clutch is gonna go down. We're going back over to listen in with the blue squad. Who do you want to watch here, Farouk? We should take a look at Gilkey, see how he's uh, managing his ball time over here. There's no sword to drop down from on this map. <laughs> Got no way to be angry with him. 